All right, welcome to another edition of Flip the Classroom. Today we are going to solve systems of linear equations by substitution and elimination. There are going to be eight examples all together. The first three are we're going to do substitution. The next three, four, five, and six, we are going to do elimination. And then the last two will be on any method of the two that we have mentioned. So example number one is this. We're going to solve by substitution. Well, first of all, solving by systems of linear equations just mean that these two equations right over here are lines. And we're trying to see where they intersect on the Cartesian plane or the xy plane. So your answer should be some sort of point, like 6, 4, or negative 2, 3, like that. So let's already start with example number 1, solved by substitution. We got negative 10x plus 4y is equal to 22, and then y is equal to negative 6x plus 14. Your step for example number 1 is plug in or substitute the value of one variable in the other equation and then solve for the other variable. In this case, one of our variables have already been solved. y is equal to negative 6x plus 14. So what we're going to do is, since we already know the y value, for, since we already know the value for one variable, we're just going to plug it in into the other equation right over there. So let's go do that. All right, let's start off with negative 10x plus 4. We've already solved for y. Well, y has already been solved for us. And that's going to be negative 6x plus 14. Close parentheses is going to equal to 22. All right, let's already distribute that one right there. So let's start off again, negative 10x minus 24x plus 56 is equal to 22. So 14 times 4, 56. Combine like terms. We can combine this. This is going to be negative 34x plus 56 is equal to 22. We are going to subtract 56 on both sides. Negative 34x. Don't be ashamed to do this on the side. Okay, So I'm just going to do this on the side. We have to subtract because they have different signs. So this is going to be 56 minus 22. Well, this is going to be 34. But then since um, the negative 56 is farther away from 0, we're going to have to attach a negative to that. So this is going to be negative 34. Divide both sides by negative 34. Divide both sides by negative 34. x is equal to 1. Let me move that up first, of course. Okay. From there, uh, the second step is going to be you're going to plug in that value of that one variable into any of the equations. So plug in. Solved variable. In any of the equations. Well, we already said that x is equal to 1. So let's already grab another piece of paper. We'll just choose any of the equations that we had before. So we're just going to go back to the y is equal to negative 6x plus 14. You already told yourself that x is equal to 1. So you're just going to substitute that back in. Again, you can pick any of the two equations that you have. 1 plus 14. So this is going to be y is equal to negative 6 plus 14. They have different signs, so we got to subtract. y is equal to 8. And so your answer, remember, these are two lines intersecting to see where they intersect or they cross at the Cartesian xy plane. So the answer has to be 1 8 written like this. So box that. This is your answer for example number 1. And as a reminder, this is your x value. Your x value is always to your left, and then your y value is always to your right. Now, of course, sometimes you don't really know if this is the correct answer. So one way to do it, especially if you guys are taking a test, is to check your answers. How do you check your answers? You're going to plug in the value for x and y in both equations okay so to check your answers plug in the answer not just to one but to both equations 
So let's do that. Let's grab the first one, negative 10x plus 4y is equal to 22. Negative 10, well, you told yourself that x is 1, so let's substitute that in. And then this is 8 is equal to 22. We have negative 10 plus 32 is equal to 22. Does this make sense? Yes, it does. 1 is a negative, 1 is a positive. We've got to subtract that, and it does come out to positive 22. Okay, so don't stop there. You also got to check the second one too. So y is equal to negative 6x plus 14. And then the y value was 8 is equal to negative 6, 1 plus 14. 8 is equal to negative 6 plus 14. Does this make sense? Yes, we have to subtract them because they're different signs. And then 14 is farther away from 0. So hence, it needs to be a positive 8. Example number two, we are still doing substitution. So here are two line equations, negative five x minus two y is equal to negative seven, and x minus two y is equal to negative 13. What we're going to do is um, analyze these two equations first, but you need to pick an equation that's easier to solve for one variable. So meaning that maybe you can check to see if there's already no coefficients in one of the variables. And so for the for this problem, I'm going to pick the second one because if I add 2y to both sides, x would have already been solved for. So you really want to try to see if you can do the easiest step possible so that you can substitute that value in a little bit easier. All right. And then from there, we can follow procedures as, as example number one. All right. I'm going to choose this equation right over here. I'm going to rewrite this. x minus 2y is equal to negative 13. I'm going to add 2y on both sides. x is going to equal to 2y minus 13. So now you see why I chose this equation because if I added 2y on both sides, x has already been solved for. Now we just got to follow the same procedures as example number one. We got to take this and put it in the other equation not the same one okay the other equation and the other equation was negative 5x minus 2y is equal to negative 7 we are going to substitute or plug in that value in for x this time be careful some students actually put this on the y all right negative 5 parentheses 2y minus 13 minus 2y is equal to negative 7. From here, it's an algebra 1 problem. We're just going to distribute negative 10y plus 65. Just do that on the side. Minus 2y is equal to negative 7. So be careful with your signs. Negative times a negative is equal to a positive. Combine like terms. Negative 12y plus 65 is equal to negative 7. Subtract 65 on both sides. Negative 12y is going to equal to negative 72. Okay, they're both negative, so add them up. You owe someone seven bucks, and you're asking him or her for 65 bucks. I don't know why. Okay, so we are going to divide both sides by negative 12. Y is equal to six. Okay, since we already saw for one of the variables, now you're just going to plug that back into any of the equations that you had before. Let's just plug it into the x minus two y is equal to negative 13 and we told ourselves that y was equal to 6 y is equal to 6 so x minus 2 and then let's put a different color over here 6 is equal to negative 13 x minus 12 is equal to negative 13 add 12 to both sides x is equal to 1 Let's also put a negative there too. Okay, so negative 13 plus 12 is negative 1. So your answer is going to be negative 1, 6. And this is your answer for example number 2. Here's the last example for substitution 5x minus 5y is equal to 20, 10x minus 3y is equal to negative 2. Um, my first step is going to be this. Choose an equation that will have less or no fractions when solving for one variable. Uh, definitely you should already be good with fractions by now, but at the same time you want to do less work for yourself. So this is how you're going to choose. What you're going to do is um, just pick all, just pick one of the coefficients and divide everything by that number. So let's start off with 10 first. 10 divided by 10 is 1, all right? That's fine. But 3 divided by 10 is going to be 3 tenths. And then negative 2 divided by 10 is going to be negative 2 tenths. 
And so if we do the same thing for 3, if we divide everything by 3 over here, 10, this is going to be 10 over 3, this is going to be negative 1, and this is going to be negative 2 thirds. So it's probably a little bit too many fractions. However, if we take this coefficient over here and we divide everything by 5, this is going to be 1, this is going to be 1, or I guess if you include negative, negative 1, and this is going to be 4 right over here, 20 divided by 5 is equal to 4. We're going to choose this because it has given us no fractions. So let's already start off with the 5x minus 5y is equal to 20. Let's add 5y on both sides. Add 5y on both sides. 5x is equal to 5y plus 20. Then we're going to divide both sides by 5. x is going to equal to y plus 4. 20 divided by 5. Okay, so as you can see, we have no fractions over here. Same procedures, for example, like examples number 1 and 2. You're going to plug this value in back into the other equation. So let's already do that. This is going to be 10 parentheses y plus 4 minus 3y is equal to negative 2. 10y plus 40 minus 3y is equal to negative 2. Combine like terms, this is going to be 7y plus 40 is equal to negative 2. Subtract 42, subtract 42. Ho ho, 40. My mistake on that, sometimes I usually get a little bit too ahead. Okay, so this is going to be negative 42. y is equal to negative 6. All right, from there, you're going to take that negative 6 and plug it into any of the two equations listed. So I'm going to plug it back into the 10x minus 3y is equal to negative 2. 10x minus 3 times negative 6 is equal to negative 2. And just keep going from there. 10x plus 18 is equal to negative 2. Subtract 18, subtract 18. 10x is equal to negative 20. x is equal to negative 2. So your answer, be careful. Because we solve for y first, doesn't mean that it's the x value. So be careful with that. This is going to be negative 2, negative 6. And this is your answer for example number 3. Make sure you check your work during tests and homework.